Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carla, a fashion maven mommy, and I am really excited about today's video because it's been a highly requested one. So I'm finally gonna take you on a little tour of my guest slash makeup room. Um, and this is basically where I film all my videos. This is where I put my makeup on every morning. Um, this is the room that houses all of my makeup and all of my nail polishes and all of the good stuff that I think some of you want to see. So stay tuned and enjoy. All right guys, so this is pretty much my vanity area. This is actually my guest room, but this is where I do my makeup every day. Um, and in here, you see behind this closed curtain, I actually hide a whole bunch of stuff. There's some magazines up there, including my, um, it's like a fashion Barbie. I don't remember what it was. It's like the fashion editor Barbie or something like that. But I got her a long time in times, long time ago in Times Square, New York. But if we open this up, there's a whole bunch of beauty products that I store in here, some extra brushes, um, a paper roll of paper towels for cleaning my makeup brushes in between cleaning. This is my stash of bath bombs um, from Lush and some other ones in there as well. Some nail things, so just a bunch of stuff stuffed in here. So I keep it closed so it's nice and neat. Um, and I also have an additional Al set of Alex drawers here for more makeup storage. There is a tray here with some things that I'm planning to film and work on for the vlog. Um, and then this is my guest bedroom um, bed, which I use as a sitting area most of the time because we don't have that many people sleep over. Some of my hats. Hi, that's me. Um, and then this is my nail polish collection. It's actually not all the nail polishes I own, but it's a lot of the nail polishes I own. My husband built that wall for me because I was running out of room and I wanted a pretty place to display them. I also have some in jars. So there's some in here and in here. Um, oh my gosh as well as in there and I try to sort of group them into colors so there's some blues and purples and there's some corals and pinks and this is just a mishmash. Also that's a bunch of my MAC lipsticks and some things I just worked on for the blog. There's also some things I kind of need to review here for the blog. So these drawers are filled with um, not some of them have clothes the ones on the bottom here for my husband but the other ones all have like just things I use for the blog or beauty products, hair products, whatever. Okay, so now let's go through my Alex drawers. Um, so on my left side, the first drawer has all of my, these are pencil eyeliners as well as some sharpeners. These are um, ink liners. A lot of them are from It Cosmetics. These are just really, really good. Um, I also have a, a stash of um, Jessie's Girl uh, liquid liner. This is definitely a drugstore gem. This is probably better, if not as good, if as good or if not better than the Kat Von D tattoo liners. Um, these are all my liquid liners. Um, I did, I was very lucky and I did get the Kat Von D um, Beauty Vault from um, Sephora, from the Sephora Rewards, Epic Rewards. So this is most of it here. Um, and these are some other ones that I own. So these are all my liquid liners. My next drawer is a um, bunch of my mascaras <laughs> and my brow products that I keep in here. I also keep some hair um, products, or not products, hair ties in here because uh, this one's really good um, because it doesn't crease the hair, so it's really nice when I'm doing my makeup. Um, and another brow product here. All right, the next drawer is um, some more. These are individual shadows. In this group here is eye crayons. So these are basically a bunch of my Jouer, um, as well as some NARS and some Drugstore, some Laura Geller. Um, these are all eyeshadow crayons that you can also use as liners if you wanted to. These are some of my ColourPop, um, Stila, Pixie, Urban Decay, NARS, um, and a bunch of the Milani 
um, Bella uh, shadows that are really beautiful. These are definitely a drugstore gem. So, so highly pigmented. They apply beautifully, blend really well, and just are so inexpensive. Oh, and some Jessie's Girl. This one's probably my favorite, too. This is a great drugstore um, one, and it's called Esmeralda. So it's the Mineral Baked Powder Eyeshadow in Esmeralda. It's so good, and it's so affordable. All right, next drawer is my cream shadows. So I have a bunch of Makeup Forever, um, some Pure, um, Bobbi Brown. Um, these are Smart Bomb Cosmetics. What else? Oh, and my tattoo colors from Maybelline as well. And these are all pigments in here. And as you can see, I store them in the ice cube trays just because, I don't know, it, it's a good way to display them, I suppose. Um, the last drawer is not overly exciting. It's just a random drawer of randomness. There's actually nothing really in here. Um, actually, this is worth noteworthy. I got this in Lisbon on um, when I went there a few years ago. There was this really cool store, and I got a bunch of Ellie Faz stuff. And let me see if I can open it with one hand. Yeah, so these are all... Um, these liquid, not liquid, these are like pens, and each pen is designated for something. So there's like eye colors in here, there's cheek colors, there's lip colors, and this was just a really cool place to, to display them. So I picked that up when I was at that store, and it was kind of expensive. I think they were about 25 euros per pen plus the dispenser, so it wasn't very cheap. These are some of the brushes that I use the most. And there's a whole lot of them, as you can see, um, some of the brushes I use, some on display, some more back here. These are beauty blenders that I have used and need to be washed, so um, when I use them and they need to be washed, they kind of go in here on this little tray. Um, what else? So there's some kabuki brushes there, as well as these amazing, I love having these on hand. They're like these Q-tips with a pointed end, and they're very helpful. Um, this is just a bunch of mishmash. It's either things I just got recently or things that, um, I don't know, I just wanted to have out for whatever reason. I did just buy this mist from Tarte, uh, Rainforest of the Season. I really like it, so I keep it here to set my makeup. Um, this is my glam box, and I absolutely adore my glam box. I think it's just such a fun way to display makeup. I did remove some things from it because I'm working on some blog posts, um, so it is missing some of the things that I normally display in here, as you can see. Um, those are all my Jouer lip creams, as well as some glosses. Um, in here, oh, this was one of my favorite palettes. It was limited edition from um, Jaclyn Hill. Let me see if I can open this with one hand. Ah. But um, it was so good looking. I, it's very loved, as you can see, and unfortunately, it's sold out, so i um, got to make it last. My Tarte Lid in Bloom. Some of my double-ended brushes I do keep in here just because it's easier to keep, um, you know, like that than inside of a cup or something. That brush, my Becca brush. Um, yeah, so this is my Glam Box that I really love. This is, I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, so this is wall art that I actually created. I made all of the wa wall art that is displayed on this wall and I do have a blog post about it. This is, this came with the Kat Von D, um, uh, eyeliner vault, uh, from the Sephora Epic Rewards and that is her, um, signature or her autograph. So that's really cool. And I have that displayed there. I also have that displayed, which if you followed my blog, you know that I was in the It Cosmetics commercial. And this is a brochure that was inside the kit from the commercial. And that's me, my before and after picture. Okay, so let's move on to this side. So on the first drawer, it's a little bit of a messy one, but I have um, a bunch of my foundations. Um, I actually just finished, about to finish that one, but I bought another one that I love. This is the best powder for baking um, your under eyes. I did a whole post on that. I have Jouer backups. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of Jouer. Um, my Max, MAC uh, 
Prep and Prime Fix Plus, which I have another bottle at the bottom. These are all my primers. Um, this one's really good if you're acne prone, also from Jouer. So it's an anti-blemish -ble matte primer. Um, some Beauty Blender stuff back here. And <laughs> actually, I need to organize this better because I have a bunch of my setting sprays back there that I can't reach. And some of my luminizing foundations there, which I can't reach. The only one I can is this one from Becca and my Jouer one, which is here somewhere here. Um, so yeah. So I need to organize this drawer a little bit better. Um, this drawer is some of my concealers and my powders. Um, so here we go. These are some of my favorite concealers. A lot of IT Cosmetics. Honestly, I think the IT Cosmetics um, concealers are by far my favorite. This one from Jouer is an anti-blemish concealer. This is great. It's not for your under eye, but it's really good for applying on blemishes to conceal but also treat at the same time so that's really great um okay here i have a bunch of blushes as well as um highlighters so actually, let me move it like this so we can see a little a little bit better so again a bunch of jouet um these are uh, some of the um these are highlighters um and Again, more highlighters. These are cream highlighters. These are blushes. The NARS um, Dual Intensity um, blushes are my favorite in the whole entire world. Like, I could live on these for the rest of my life. I absolutely adore them. Um, some of my Becca uh, uh, shimmers. These are for highlighting also. This is a cream shimmer from It Cosmetics. It's really nice as well. These are cream blushes. Um, another one. Um, some more cream blushes in here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beach Stick, I think it's called. So, yeah. Um... All right, so in here I have a bunch of my contouring or bronzers. Um, so I have high end, I have low end. So yeah, so in this drawer I have a bunch of my contouring kits, um, as well as some of my favorite bronzers. This one's from Sicily. There's some Jouer. There's contouring sticks, Hula, which has been a long time favorite of mine. This pixie one is really good too. Has a sponge applicator, some Bobbi Brown, um, Tarte. Um, pure and oh this is this is such a drugstore gem so this is from NYX NYX and it's called Beach Babe oh my gosh so good totally worth the I don't know three four dollars it costs so good all right and then the last drawer is sort of my everything drawer I have a bunch of makeup wipes here um, for uh, for use because I use a ton while I'm doing my makeup. Some more of those um, Q-tips, some extra beauty blenders, eyelashes, um, Pixi Glow Tonic, you know I adore that. There's my other uh, MAC um, Fix Plus. So when I run out, this is one of my favorite IT Cosmetics brush. Um, I do have an extra one here, so if I'm ever running low, I can use it. All right, so this is pretty much where I record my videos. Um, I sit here and then I have um, my cameras usually over here and I record in front of the window because that's where the most natural light comes in. In these Alex drawers, this is where I keep a lot of my palettes. I've had a really hard time really trying to organize these, so I don't know. Um, so these are, this is the first drawer of palettes. These are all my Urban Decay Naked palettes. Um, Urban Decay, The Wizard of Oz, or uh, Oz palettes, whatever that movie was called. Some Too Faced, um, some more Urban Decay, some Stila, um, Mac, I have a Mac palette here. So yeah, so this is the first drawer. The second drawer is um, some drugstore, so I have a bunch of Pixie palettes under here. These are my Milani palettes. These are amazing, great drugstore op option. These are from Itse, and it's like a pa like you can buy the palette, and then you can fill it up with whatever you like. These are cheek colors, and these are eyeshadows. A great, great palette. Um, Kat Von D, Lorac, um, Borghese. Um, Butter London, Marc Jacobs, It Cosmetics. These are amazing palettes. Um, these are Kiko Milan Milano or Milani Milano. Yeah, Ofra. Um, what else? Some Z palettes that I have in here. Um, what else? Oh, okay, can't put that 
back in. Um, this is from Jouer, the Ready to Wear palette. This is one of my favorite palettes in the world. I just replenished. Um, I adore it. Like I, the matte, um, the Lorac Pro matte palette or matte pro palette I don't know how do you say that is easily one of my favorite palettes in the world it's small so it's like twenty dollars and it's a tiny palette but the pigmentation is amazing it just the wear is phenomenal the colors are beautiful um hues of just wonderful I don't know neutrals I love this palette uh, Kevin O'Quan and then these are all like MAC shadows and things that are in there um let's put that back somehow um, yes, yeah, some Tarte palettes here. My Amrezi palette that my wonderful friend Serene gave me on a trip to L.A. Um, and then the Anastasia, uh, I think it was the World Traveler palette or something like that. I don't remember. Okay, next. More palettes. Okay, so I have some Pixie, Pure, Maybelline, Jessie's Girl, Charlotte Ronson, the Lorac um, Pro Mega 2, um, some Bobbi Brown, Youngblood, Pacifica, um, Robert Sheffy, Morphe. These are, this is the 350 or um, I'm pretty sure it is. Ah, I'm trying to open it for you guys. Here it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that palette and there's another one in here a different one forget which one it is limited edition nars andy warhol just thought that was really fun um cinderella from mac uh, just a bunch okay so this is my lipsticks or lip um items <laughs> all right so these are some pixie lipsticks um there's some nyx stuff in here i haven't even used these yet um so these are liquid lipsticks. This is just these are just some from my collection. These are lip crayons. These are lip pencils um, or lip liners. These are some more lipsticks. These are um, glosses, I guess, of sorts. Um, and these are balms. So I have a lot of lip products. And as you could see from the video before, this is not all I have. Um, have a lot more. <laughs> this is the drawer of randomness. I just tend to stick a lot of, um, there's some extra product in here that I don't really wear. Um, and there are samples, some more foundation stuff that I probably don't even wear anymore. Some glasses because I have trouble seeing up close and some other random palettes. And then the last drawer is this is sort of my stash. Um, I have some samples in here, as you can see, but like, this is my stash of brand new, like look, I cannot live with Bye Bye Under Eyes. So I have a stash. There's the foundation, um, Bye Bye Foundation, which I adore. Um, Bye Bye Concealer, which I adore and use every single day of my life. Bye Bye Pore Celebration Foundation. Um, yeah, I'm definitely an it girl. And there's like a bunch of these. This is like my, you know, when I run out, I come in here. Um, <laughs> some more it brushes. This is my beauty blender cleansers. And I actually have little ones in here too for travel. Some more beauty blender stuff. Um, some extra brushes. And some more samples. So, yeah. So, yeah. This is, so this is my beauty um, stash. <laughs> in in that drawer um also in here is my makeup bag which I have to kind of go through because honestly it's all lipsticks it's more lipsticks more and more lipsticks it's kind of ridiculous so I need to like just get a grip and you know get rid of some of these lipsticks from this bag and put in some things that I'll actually really need. Like, I don't need to carry 30 lipsticks with me at the same time. Do I? No, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, that is my makeup store. Oh, and then this is some things I'm getting ready to work on, but I just wanted to show you my Artiste brushes, which I have been loving. My Anastasia Beverly Hills, um glow kit which is gorgeous my tart um this is a color correcting kit which is really good i've been loving the burberry products um these are eyeshadows and highlighters charlotte tilbury's um magic foundation the shade and light kat von d palette in rust is gorgeous so i'm working on blog posts for these um yeah so this is basically it guys this is my beauty room yeah there's like a just a large mirror there that 
um, usually goes behind that door, and this is what you guys see when I record videos. Um, but when I'm recording a video, I don't want that on my door. And there's a little person, little fur person, waiting to come in. Hi! Hi! Wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi, everybody! Hi, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun showing you where I keep all of my makeup and just showing you around in general. I know a lot of you have asked to see it, and I'm so sorry it took me this long to put this video together for you, but I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I do have a beauty uh, blog. It's called Fashion Maven Mommy. Definitely go give it some love. And I'm all over social media, so I will link my um, social media links down below so you can go and follow me there. If you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like my channel and want to see more videos like this one um go ahead and subscribe and i'll be sure to come back and do more fun videos for you guys thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate you have a good one bye guys